Good day folks, I'd like to talk to you today about capacitive power supply that work on reactive power. I had actually way back months ago made some schematics using a cap dump circuit used, powered by its uh, own um, reactive power supply using a capacitor and I posted that and people were enjoying that a lot but then people started getting mad while well, a few people you know accusing me of essentially stealing from the electric company the nature of reactive power now let me explain you know in simple terms what reactive power is and um, it's another way of basically stepping down the AC voltage but in return you get very little current because it's more or less in very simplified terms when you're using reactive power what you're using it, it's essentially a way of borrowing that power from the grid and then sending it back into it again so essentially it, it's not really a kind of even though there is work being done it's not measured in a traditional sense because the meters are designed to measure real usable work not reactive ping pong back and forth kind of work so with that said, um, 20 some years ago when people tried to build these kind of power supplies to initially fool the meters and get free energy, this was a big no-no because you were directly scamming the electric company. But as time went by, it became an industry standard, believe it or not, and that was part of my argument earlier, but I never really had anything to show and today I'm ready. And what I mean by that is we've had capacitive power supplies now in the market for quite some time. Most of your shavers, your lead drivers, your light bulbs, your, um, your USB chargers, those are all capacitive power supplies that work off reactive ideas. And basically, um, instead of building it like I did with my schematic with using real high voltage big capacitors and bulky system, uh, they basically have it all on a high-tech chip. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, here's one right here. Here's You could easily tell if it's capacitive or not because there's no coils in them. So it's all on one chip. And this is, for example, a USB charger here. And if I look at the rating, it says 2.2 amps. So not bad at all. And it's capacitive. So basically what it means is if you charge your phone on this or whatever, the meter doesn't really reflect but this is an industry standard it has to meet industrial specifications you know this is just a new way of doing it and because it's so little power and very efficient it's something that the electric company doesn't worry about anymore because you're using so very little so here's another example of a shaver power supply just to show you folks what to look for you know if you want to so what i'm getting at is Yes, these are very little current devices, but if you understand what I'm getting at, these are perfect to drive devices like our Bedini motors. So if it could run the Bedini motors, we can charge big batteries with this now. So you could charge two or four big car 12 volt batteries using these capacitive power supplies to drive your Bedini motors or else very similar back EMF or whatever, triggering devices and by doing that is a way of being essentially you get to charge your batteries while being off the meter for the most part you know so it's a very efficient way of doing it if you have the balls to actually try it and i hope this will stop all the arguments because like i said this is on the market this is not me you don't have to get mad at me for this these are all industrial standard the only difference is, you know, instead of using, let's say, a shaver here, we're going to snip the wire and we're going to run our Bedini energizers off of this instead and take advantage of that system to charge our bigger batteries with and then run those off our loads and run our toasters and whatnot. It's just another way of doing it. And I wanted to clarify how, you know, in today's day and age, you know, um, capacitive power supplies is a very indeed good way of doing it if you want to save a little bit on the power bill if you know what you're doing so with that said i hope i gave people some good ideas here and i will see you soon looking forward to the comments thank you all